I'm Richard O'Neill, storyteller and author, and we're on to the last chapter of Robo Horse, chapter 59, and it's in the voice of Roman. Mr. Tower made my mum and Chris joint managers of the yard. Now he and Mr. Stanley are spending more time together playing bowls. They are even going on a fishing trip together with Mr. Stanley's wife and her best friend Margaret. I think she's going to become Mr. Tower's girlfriend. My mum says it doesn't matter how old someone is, they can still fall in love. Makes sense, I suppose. He does seem very happy. Despite all of Stephen Robinson's money, he still got sent to jail for four years. Hopefully, he'll learn his lesson. My mum and Chris became even closer as she nursed him back to full health, and they are now engaged to be married. So he'll be my stepdad at some point in the future, which I am very happy about. Clara and I are now great mates, and we hang out with each other on Robo Horse as much as we can. We keep discovering new things about Robo Horse, and Clara keeps coming up with new ideas for additions to his hardware and software. So we just don't know what his true potential is. What we do know is that all three of us can't wait for our next adventure. Most people think that my metal trike is just clever electronics, and Clara and I talk to it like some people talk to their cars. But of course, we know different, dear reader, don't we? The end.